Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in Accenture interview. The candidate had 2.3 years of experience working as a Java developer and when he got selected, he was offered a CTC of 6.5 LP. The problem statement which was asked to him, was, uh, he was asked to write a Java program to swap two numbers without using a third variable or a temporary variable. Okay, so you can consider this as an input. Uh, number one is 10 and second number is 20. So these are the values which are provided for him before swapping. And after swapping, uh, the values should be printed something like number one should hold 20 and number two should become 10. Okay, this problem can be solved in multiple ways. I'm going to provide you two solutions and at the end of the video, I'm going to ask you what is the problem with second solution. Okay, so let me start writing the code. You can see I have declared a class swap two numbers without third and inside that I have written a main method which is going to be starting point for my program execution. Now let me declare two variables which will hold two numbers. So integer a is equal to 10, integer b is equal to 10. These are going to be my two numbers. Uh, what I will do, I will simply print these numbers before swapping. So system.out.println first number before swap, I will treat it as a first number and print the value of a. Similarly, I will print the value of second number before swapping. Okay, so second number before swap. Now, I will try to write the logic to swap two numbers. So what I will do, I will do an addition of first number and second number and store it into first number. So a is equal to a plus b. What will happen now? Uh, if I write this code, what will happen? A plus B will be computed. So this expression will be evaluated and the value will be stored into this variable, which is A. Now A plus B, that is 10 plus 20 becomes 30. So A is going to hold 30. Now I will do another operation where I'm going to subtract second number from first number. So A minus B and this value will be stored into second number. So if you see, a is now we have 30, A minus B, B is 20. So 30 minus 20, it becomes 10. And this 10 will be stored into B. But if you see, I have to swap these two numbers. B is holding 10. That means I have swapped or I have put this 10 into B. But my A is not at result or A is still not holding 20. It is holding 30. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do another operation A minus B and I will store this result into A. Now what will happen? I have A as a 30, B as a 10. So 30 minus 10, it becomes 20. And that 20 will be stored into A. Okay. Now I have both values after swapping both values. And I'm going to print those numbers. After swap, so I will simply write system dot print ln and I will swap these two numbers. Uh, I will print the values of these two. Numbers. Okay, let me run this program and see what is happening. So you can see, uh, first number before swap, it is holding 10. Second number before swap, it is holding 20. Then after swapping, you can see first number after swap, it becomes 20, and then it is having 10. That was the first solution or first approach. I have another approach by which you can solve. It is simple approach. Just you need to use instead of plus and minus, you have to use multiplication and division operation. Okay. What I will do now, I will use multiplication operation instead of addition operation. So here A into B, it becomes 10 into 20. That means it will hold. 200. Now, next is a minus uh, a divided by b. a is 200. b is 20. That means I will have 10. 200 divided by 20 becomes 10. Again, a divided by b. That means 200 divided by b is now 10. So it becomes 200 divided by 10 is equal to 20. These variables are holding such values. Okay, so again, if I run this program, uh, I will be able to see the same output. There is a problem with this solution. 
So you have to identify what will happen if I make zero as one of the number. Okay, so that's it from this video. Uh, let me know in the comment section uh, what will be the problem if I make one of these number as a zero. And uh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.